Wake up. Yeah, okay, I'll wake up. Right now, what's the next question? Welcome to the new, new music show here on Titan TV 2. My name is Kent Orphan and, and my lovely co-host is... <laughs> Peg LaPointe. Good to be aboard with you. And Kent, what's with the name Orphan? Well, in the opening credits, um, our producer John Urban spelled it P-H-A-N, uh, one without parents, but there's an F in there somewhere and I, I do have parents, but thanks for the concern, John. He is quite happy with them, so he'll keep them. We have a great show lined up for you today here on the new music show. We have a very special guest. Um, with uh, Mark Spencer, and he has just released a tape entitled Spot Weld, and that's what we'll be listening to today. What else do we have planned for the show today, Peg? Well, we have a few album reviews with Wendy Polson and Steve Payne, and we do have a little bit of rock information and rock calendar. Great. That'll be a look at some of the upcoming dates around um, the Oshkosh and Valley area, I would assume. You bet. So you can plan your whole weekend out. Great. Right now, why don't we take a listen to... Um, Mark Spencer and Spot Weld. <laughs> Song's called uh, Silent Change, and uh, I'm trying to work this out to kind of an updated version of folk. Um, why not? Um, 
So I'll be getting a little bit more intricate and involved and obsequious as I go. is growing at an alarming rate and now affects up to 20 million every 18 seconds a woman gets beaten in this country 39 percent of all high school seniors are problem drinkers mental disorders will disrupt the lives of 19 percent of american adults in the next six months our difficulties sometimes sound insurmountable they're not if you want to do something about our problems, remember, the way to stop them is to become united. United Way. Thanks to you, it works for all of us. I was totally out of control, and I didn't even realize it. That's what's crazy about cocaine. And all along, I lied to myself, because I was ashamed. Anyone who tells you cocaine's not addictive, they lie. One night, my heart freaked out. I thought I was going to die. I risked my health, jail, and the people who love me. I knew I had to stop. Call 1-800-662-HELP. We're here with Mark Spencer of um, titled Self Spotwald. I wondered first whether you could tell me a little bit about the songs that you played for us um, in that first set and a little bit about the significance of the Spotwald title that you have given it. Uh, basically, um now this, this is what the tape looks like, and uh, we're selling at New Frontiers, and any place else that will sell That's, it. It's available where now? Uh, New Frontiers. Um, okay. And uh, I just mostly do it at boredom or whatever, just because, uh, um, just on my time off, and uh, kind of uh, Rob at New Frontiers just said, uh, I was drunk one night, and I said I was going to make a solo tape, and he pressed me to it. So this is what it is, 27 songs, 90 minutes of music. And uh, it just varies in entirely, uh, a lot of variation. Um, like I said, mostly I just do it just for the heck of it. 
I see that you have brought along a couple of different guitars and a couple of different keyboards. I wonder whether you could um, tell me a little bit about the, the different instruments that you brought here today and also how long have you been playing the keyboards and guitar? Um, okay, I started playing guitar about three months ago and uh, I just learned a few chords that you can see I'm really bad. Um, I've been singing since I was 17 whatever, first in a band called, uh, ooh, these are fun. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, let's st start with Nixon, and then I uh, went to Jim Stennis. We're still at Jim Stennis. There's another one in there. I forgot what it is. But, uh, um, so now we're in Jim Stennis, and I'm... You currently play with Jim Stennis. Yeah, and we're going to play her again, uh, like the end of this month or whatever, end uh, of next month. Are there any um, area dates that we could um, hopefully plug for you to get the people out to see you? Uh, well, one thing, right now I'm in the med uh, middle of moving to Minneapolis, so it's just a matter of uh, we'll probably be here next... At the, we'll probably have it all together again. Uh, by the end of next month, play here, and then uh, we're looking. Uh, I guess the guy left. He wants us to play, and uh, other than that, I'm just looking for gigs more like there. So, in comparison with um, your solo um, performances and um, your group performance, how do they how do they compare with the amount of time that you've been spending? Uh, well, le lately, since uh, there's nobody else to play with, uh, the, uh, the two guitar players are going to their s separate schools. One in Milwaukee, one in in, uh, in uh, Minneapolis. Um, I've just had all the time in the world, so. That's what I've been doing this for, like the last three months, whatever. Um, and I don't know. Um, so, just how, do, how would you describe the um, type of music that you play, and what were some of the artists that you um, listened to when you were growing up that may have influenced you? Uh, heck yeah, I don't know. Uh, I've always wanted to say some really obscene ones, so. Dusty Hill, no, I don't Dusty know. Hill. <laughs> no. Well, I, I guess, okay, I guess that's all we really have time for today on the, on the interview on the new music show. Be sure to stay tuned for um, Wendy Poulsen and Steve Payne with the album review coming up next. Hi, welcome to this week's record review. I'm Wendy Poulsen. The Bolshoi's latest LP, Lindy's Party, has just been released on R RCA. Trevor Tanner's vocal style is deep and preachy as he quips his way through their third LP, which is a perfect match for the band's neo-gothic approach, which combines balladic lyrical structure with synth violin ditties. The top song on this album is Please, with a not-too-subtle jibe at their ex-label IRS thrown in. Other good cuts are TV Man and Swings and Roundabouts. With each record, the Bolshoi shows more promise and depth. Here's a sample from their cut, Please. Don't make me burn my eyes Please, Miss Lalita Don't make me burn my eyes I'll be standing at the stage door Waiting on my prize So please, Miss Lalita And debuting at 64 this week in CMJ, Lions and Ghost album is now out on EMI, entitled Velvet Kiss, Lick of the Line. Their strength lies not only in their songwriting skills, but also in their ability to maintain the song's musical idea and make them stand tall through state-of-the-art production. This should satisfy progressive radio programmers and maybe in the future commercial programmers as well with a worthy new band. This week's number 13 radio breakthrough is Contradiction. Other good cuts include Mary Goes Round, When the Moon is Full, and Love and Kisses from the Gutter. Here's a bit from the song Contradiction. albums in record stores everywhere and they can also be heard on WRST 90.3 FM from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. every weekday and be sure to tune in next week as we take a look at two more albums on the album review.
Silver screen. I'm Bob Bruce, and on the next Twin Cities Live, we'll get an intimate look at this up and coming movie star. She's worked with the best Tom Hanks, Bette Midler, Ryan O'Neill, and Tom Cruise, and now she's starring opposite LA Law's Corbin Burnson in Hello Again. Shelley Long on Balancing Motherhood and Hollywood, Wednesday at 9, right after Good Morning America on Channel 5. Beautiful pictures there, some beautiful memories, Tommy. Memories that uh, will be with us forever. Uh, when we started this.